Hey, it's uh, Shields Weather Kid <laughs> Night once again, and joining me tonight is Cameron McKenzie. Come on out, Cameron, and tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? Um, I'm 12. And what grade are you in? Seventh. Okay, where do you go to school at? Ben Franklin Middle School. Ben Franklin Middle School, and what's your favorite class to study? Drama. Drama? Okay, well, very good. Uh, and uh, is there anybody you want to say hi to real quick before we talk about the weather? Hi, Mom and Dad. All right. Hi, Mom and Dad. First and foremost, get up here and tell everybody where it's windy. Wind speeds right now are still pretty gusty. Where is it the gustiest? Probably around for as far as 26. Yeah, 26 miles per hour and 32 in Detroit Lakes, huh? Mm -hmm. So pretty windy there. And temperature-wise, let's take a peek at what we have going on. Point out some North Dakota temperatures, Cameron. Well, in Fargo, we have 64 degrees, and in Jamestown, we have 63 degrees. Very good. Let's take a look in Minnesota over here as we uh, twist around and look on the other side of the river. Where's the coldest temperatures that you see? Well, up here in Bidette, it's 53 degrees. Very good. And the warmest? Um, Bemidji, which is 61. Very good. And uh, Fergus Falls, pretty nice at 63 as well. Now, the white stuff on Hutch's weather map here. What is this? Clouds. All right, we got clouds. And what town is it by? Saskatoon. We decided Saskatoon is a fun one to say. Mm -hmm. Now, these clouds near Saskatoon are moving in our general direction. Do, what do you think? Do you think they'll get here? Well, I think they'll come to about Minot and Bismarck, and maybe some will pass through Fargo. Very good. So she's uh, trying her hand at forecasting. Cameron, good job. Let's take a look at the hour by hour forecast though. And if you're heading outdoors this evening, it's going to get pretty cool pretty quickly as we have a big old H on the weather map moving our way. Does that stand for Hutch? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we got a big old high pressure system moving in. This evening, what will the temperatures be like across the region? Well, it's going to be clear and cold. That's right. And overnight, it gets really cold enough for frost in some spots. And if you're waiting for the bus at 755 or heading to work, what will some of the temperatures be? It's going to be 39 in Fargo and 38 in Grand Forks. Very good. So clear skies and cold to start the day. But by the lunch hour, if you're heading out for something to eat, what about those temperatures there? Well, it's 57 in Fargo and 56 in Grand Forks. Very good. And wind direction tomorrow afternoon? Southwest. Southwest. Very good. And, uh, and it's going to be a little windy in the afternoon as well. Be prepared for more of the same. Some gusts to around 30 miles per hour. Then what time does the weekend start after school? 325. 325 after school then at Ben Franklin. What can the kids expect? 62 degrees in Fargo. And a little bit breezy, so if the kids are really small, we suggest you put rocks in your pockets to keep from blowing around too much, right? Uh-huh. Okay, now taking a look at Friday night, what's the map showing you, uh, Cameron? Well, we're going to have some wind coming down and then the... And what is that blue thing up there? It's a cold front. A cold front heading away for the weekend ahead. So all in all, we better enjoy tomorrow. Hey, talk about morning low temperatures. Well, it's going to be 35 in Fargo. Good. And it's going to be 34 in Fergus. Very good. And mostly clear skies, a few high clouds out there. Not as much wind either. How about way up north? It's 28 in Bidette and 30 in Razo. Is that cold enough for frost? Yes. Yes, it <laughs> is. All right. 29 in Langdon. And how about Grand Forks? Did you catch their number? I'm sorry, I didn't. 32. 32. All right. Now, for tomorrow, high temperatures. 66 in Fargo. Okay, so nice temperatures, still breezy, and from the south. How about in Fergus Falls? 66 degrees. And point out some in northern Minnesota. Well, we got Warren at 61, and we got Thief River Falls at 57. Excellent. And how about northeast North Dakota? Um, 63 in Grand Forks. All right. And hey, you did an awesome job. Thanks. Why don't you have a seat over there by Mike, and we'll wrap up that seven-day forecast by telling you that it looks like cooler air is heading our way. And Cameron came over and she said, Hutch told me to sit up like I own the place. Is that how you do this, uh, Hutch? <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. You, you don't want to, like, lean back and put your feet on yeah. them. You did so a nice job. She Very did an nice awesome job. job. <laughs>